in Terrace, British Columbia, one of my favorite spots in the world to fish. This place is the mecca of river fishing. The scenery is absolutely magnificent. Every river bend you go around, you're in a cathedral of huge mountains, these enormous granite cliffs. You have waterfalls around every corner. Everywhere you look is like a postcard. It is something spectacular and it's some place that every angler has to get to and fish at least once in their lifetime. We're gonna be fishing with Gil McKean of West Coast Fishing Adventures. I've known Gil for over 10 years and he's a friend of mine. He can fish all species of fish up here, whether it's steelhead or salmon. He knows every nook and cranny. He's been up here for over 25 years guiding in this area and learning the rivers. And he'll tell you, he's still learning different spots in different areas. But to be able to go out on the water with him is a, is a real pleasure. And I feel that I am a much better fisherman every time I leave fishing with Gil. We're loading up here the first morning and we're gonna be hitting a river about 45 minutes outside of Terrace. And I'm super excited, anticipation is, is very high. We're gonna be fishing for coho salmon with spinning gear, something I've never had the opportunity to do before. River here for quite quite a distance, and uh, we passed over a lot of fish on the way up here. But um, we've only been here about 10 minutes, which is uh, you know pretty encouraging. Oh, fish on straight from the sea! Big female. <laughs> Not quite ready yet. I got you. God, doing a dance with you. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Wow, that's a nice fish, man. Slab, this one. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Not quite ready to give up just yet. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> that was a beauty, Mo. That was a nice fish. And not long from the ocean, that one. Getting a real mixture in here. I, I see the fish right there, Mo. Right where your spoon just landed. Yeah, I just hooked up. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like a little guy. Trout. This might be a trout. Yeah. I think so. Yep. Is it? Yep. Nice dolly. Yeah, that is pretty. It has a lot of different uh, species in it right now. There's you got cutthroat, dollies, coho. Aggressive, eh? Taking oh, yeah. that, that spoon. Well, they're hungry. It's the last meal before winter, man. Oh, there she goes. That's a nice fish. One thing that I'm looking forward to testing out are these new jigs from Gibbs Delta that have just launched Zach Tackle twitching jigs. Gil, you think that's the ticket here? Throw this color at him? Oh yeah, that'll do it. 
Yeah, they've seen the pink one already. That would make them angry. Get them, Brendan. All right, let's try it. And I really haven't done a whole lot of jig fishing in rivers, but uh, you know this can be a very effective method for targeting these coho and you know that quick twitching and you get that jig moving and get it in front of a coho's face, it should entice them to bite. So I'm really looking forward to see how, how these perform. That's a nice one. You got one? Oh yeah. A bruiser. Yeah. Nice one, Mo. Chrome. Oh yeah. Just whack the jig. <laughs> That's a nice fish, man. Oh. You getting jiggy with it, Mo? Getting jiggy with it over here. Nice chrome coho here on the jig. Just twitching that jig through this run here and just smashed it. Nice looking fish. Pretty fresh out of the ocean. There he goes. Go do his thing. Nice fish. One of the things I really love about river fishing is the ability to get out and walk down a bank and actually break down a piece of water. A lot of times uh, you're trying to look for seams or a shallow water and a little bit of a drop off meat. Typically these fish in the river will hold in, that, in those deeper slots and they'll come up and feed on the edges. So you're constantly studying the water, trying to figure out where do I need to make my cast. Depth is important. Where these fish are holding in the water column will determine you know, where you want to angle your cast and how deep you want your presentation to be when it gets in front of the fish. You're constantly thinking things in your mind and trying to break down where these fish are and, and how you can get them to eat. Strong, man, this is strong fish. Another big guy, dude. Look at this guy. <laughs> there he goes, ready? Let him go. Oh, another nice fish, eh? Oh, beauty! Wow. That's sweet. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there, Mo. Where have you been? I was in the penalty box, bud. Oh, nice to, nice to come join the party. <laughs> They're stuffed in there, man. Are they? Chuck it, like, right down in there. I kind of I kind of already poached quite a bit of this water, Mo. That's right. You're a little bit late to the party. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> right there? Yep. That looks good. Got to entice one of them. Oh, yeah. I think he might have cleaned them out. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Nice one, Brennan. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice Cromer, fish. Oh, Cromer, buddy. It's a fresh fish. That one just come in. That one definitely just moving up the river. He hit that jig pretty quick, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, man. No one around. Get the whole place to yourself. Just beautiful. That's a nice fish, man. Yeah, it is. That's a strong. Just silver. That's another nice, that's another chrome bullet. Like right like that? Sure. Yeah, that one's fresh, man. Oh. Hey? Yeah. You gotta think of how fast those guys cruise up this river, right, to come up here and then still look like that? No kidding. Like, look at them. It's just <laughs> a bar of chrome. Yeah. Like, you can't be that far out of the ocean. No, you know? Like, no, no. We, we actually uh, are right close. The mouth of this river is still tidal. Yeah. So you still get some tidal influence up, up the Skeena River. And, uh, yeah, these fish are just coming right out of the ocean. Yeah, that's pretty impressive there, buddy. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Here, let me get them for you. I know how bad you want to get your hands wet, so. <coughs> it's still pretty hot, eh? Yeah, she's, she's scrappy. There you, there go. you go. See you later, pal. Nice release. <laughs> there she goes. Wicked. <laughs> that was rad. Just <laughs> hit the water, boom, inhaled. Yeah. Yeah, well, some, that's, they're so aggressive. I mean, their predatory instinct must be, I don't know what they think that jig is, but I think it's just, it's all instinct that they just snap at it.
I'd say we kind of laid waste. What's that, bud? I'd say we kind of spanked him. I would say uh, that was an incredible stretch of water. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe the most productive piece of of water I've ever fished for any species. Like one little stretch, hey? Yeah. They're in there thick. <laughs> They're mega. And I got a feeling there's a couple other spots that might there's have, possibly. might hold some fish in here. Yeah, maybe a little picturesque waterfall and. and yeah, waterfall. We haven't even uh, even contemplated heading downriver to where we passed over all those fish yet. How many do you think we passed over? Oh, there's hundreds of them. That's what makes uh, the cold fishing so much fun too, right? I mean, even, you can bring your kid out here, Brendan. Mm. Bring your kid out here. You can catch lots of lots of fish. Good action. Have a lot of fun. Well, that's the thing with kids too. I mean, a lot of kids have uh, short term short term uh, yeah. attention <laughs> yeah. spans, right? So you get them into fish like this, and they have a yeah, they'll keep casting. Yeah. yeah, keeps them busy, right? I mean, I kind of felt like a little kid. What about you? <laughs> Definitely, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a kid at candy store. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's good. Yeah. One of the toughest things about fishing is leaving a fishing spot when you know fish are there and you're catching them. But at the same time, there's always that question, well, you know, what's around the corner? Is there the same amount of fish up there? Are there bigger fish? What's the game going on up around the corner? So that's kind of the thing that I enjoy. It's a challenge. Like, hey, can you catch those fish that are up there? And what are they doing? How are they behaving? Is the water the same up there? Are they in a deeper pool? Are they in shallower water? So you're constantly trying to battle these things and, and figure these fish out and see if you can get them to bite. Right there. It's right there, if you're oh, asking. Yeah. That's a hog, dude. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, he's boiling over there. <laughs> He jumped right over your line. I know, I saw that. It was crazy. I thought we were gonna I thought I was gonna cut you off. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh I mean my I little guy. I lost him, he spit it. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, it's a big fish too. Oh. Oh that's, man. That's so sad. <laughs> he was a big fish. I didn't see it. You didn't? Wow, well, I'm telling you. <laughs> he was big. The thing was just running. Oh, Not as did, big as this one. Did you just get him? Oh, that's him. <laughs> I think he just got him. Oh, back. dude. That's a monster. <laughs> Did you see that jump? Yeah. This thing just cartwheeled. Who said Coho didn't fight? Dude, that looks hey? exactly like the fish I had. Thing just, was that what it looked like? Yeah, big. Yeah. I think you got a nice fish there, though. Yeah, it is. He's a thick fish, man. Yeah, he's a beast. That's not the same one I saw jump down there. Yeah, right over your line. That was weird. Oh, yeah. Doing the coho roll. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a bruiser. There we go. That is a bruiser. Trout. <laughs> Dolly. Mo, look at this. That's a nice fish, dude. <laughs> you got a dolly? Yeah. Let's see. What is that? Oh no, that's a dolly. Yeah, it's a female. Yeah, the males they get the. Well, he's got the, the pink. He's got the pink spots. Yeah, but the males they get that. They get a little more colored. Yeah. Yeah. And she's off. <laughs> Not a bad idea stopping here, Gil. <laughs> Your spidey sense. There's worse places to stop. Fishing with West Coast Fishing Adventures is a unique experience. The phenomenal fishing is almost granted when you're out with Gil, but then at the end of the day, you get to come back to his lodge and, and his house and really feel, you know, part of the family with Mandy and preparing the meals and the food is outstanding. At the end of the day, to come home to a home cooked meal is a beautiful thing and it's just a perfect way to end the day. We're heading out here on the second day, and today we'll be fishing with Luke. Luke works for Gil, and he's a young kid, but he has a ton of knowledge as well, and you know, he's super gung-ho. I, I could tell how excited he is to get on the water, and we talked about trying a different river system today, so we're gonna go do that and see where it takes us. It's 
So what's, what's the game plan? Well, we're gonna walk up here to kind of the tail out of that last run and cast in behind the, uh, the tree. Yeah. The coho, they like to stack up in that deeper water, kind of slow. Yeah. They're holding in there. Right on that far edge there? Yeah. In that foamy stuff? Yeah, in the foam. Um, you'll kind of cast in and just kind of let your, let your lure kind of just flicker through it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll work our way. We'll kind of stand there and fish that quite a bit and then we'll work our way down and then along the far bank there where it's deep, yeah. they like to hold up. You can kind of see along the, there's a pipe in there. And uh, yeah, this is usually a pretty productive spot. All right, let's get at her. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Do it. <laughs> yeah, once the fog lifts, you'll see how beautiful it oh, is up gorgeous, here. Oh, it's gorgeous, eh? Yeah. yeah. There they are, right there. That's yeah, two, look at them all. Three, There's a bunch four. of them. I'm just gonna put right in front of this guy's nose. The cool thing is if they were freaking active, you could see them actually take this. Yeah. That's right in front of your face. Hello. 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 That one was not even phased. The big one? Yeah. I know. You just kind of. <laughs> is he freaking sleeping? At you. I don't know if it makes it more frustrating or not when you can actually see them there. I know, yeah. It's like they're like statues in there or something, hey? They're <laughs> yeah. not even moving. I know. I know. Huh. We can see fish in these places and, you know, we're casting to them and casting to them and we're switching up, you know, our presentations and we just cannot get these fish to bite. And we're, they're not spooky. We, they're not even really moving, but they're just not turning at all. And, it makes you kind of scratch your head from one day to the next, you know, how many times has this actually happened? Now we can see it, which is pretty rare. A lot of times you can't see it, but on days where you can't see the fish, how often is this happening? We just really couldn't figure out how to get these fish to turn on, although we did catch a couple and caught one beautiful chrome buck. Talking to Luke here, we thought it might be you know, a good plan or make sense to, to switch river systems here in the afternoon and see if we can find some fish that are willing to cooperate with us. And you know, we had a good talk about it and we felt that was the right decision to do. Look at all these chrome fish in here. <laughs> it just hit the water and he grabbed it. I thought it was snagged. She put it right in his mouth. Yeah. Strong fish. That's a nice, that's a beautiful coho. Big hook on him, eh? Oh, yeah. There's your typical northern, mm -hmm. hey? Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Thought he was going to launch once more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big shoulders on that fish. Yeah. This river gets uh, big, thick fish. Lots of big fish in this river. That's a nice healthy that's fish, a, man. That's a thick fish. You grab them. Beautiful fish here on this spoon here. Luke, first cast in there, eh, Luke, with that yeah. spoon? Just threw it in and he grabbed it Beautiful right away. Beautiful northern, that's a fat fish. Yeah, that's a massive. We'll let him go here. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> right on, bud, that was awesome. Nice, nice fish. That's fun, hey, good yeah, start. that was awesome. Let's see if we can get a few more now, Mo. Fish on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a nice fish, Brennan. Look at him. Oh, oh that's a chromer. Just head shaking yeah. down there. Wow. And you wonder why fish get off, eh? Like, like when you can't actually see them down there, what they're doing sometimes. When I you know. can visually see these fish right now and, and the way they contort their bodies and shake their heads. Okay. Yeah, you roll and it. shake their heads. No, all those fish are moving back. It's all right though. Head shakes are so powerful, hey? Yeah, they are strong, strong fish. Not quite ready yet, hey? <laughs> so pretty, so pretty hot. Well, that's what you get when there's chrome bullets. No kidding. Well, he's getting a little tired here, I think. Yeah, he's starting to wear out. Uh, still head shaking a bit. Just yeah. when you think you got him, eh? Yeah, big shoulders on this one. 
thick fish again, eh? Oh yeah, he's a nice fish. Look at that. Jeez. Beautiful fish. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Hook came out. Yeah, hooks out. Beautiful fish here. It's a beautiful Man, chrome just, fish. Just spectacular, really. Like just fresh out of the ocean. Ton of fighting them. We'll get them back in here. We'll release them. Pretty fish. Go up, uh, go up river and finish off. Yeah. Doing this thing. Make some more here. Yeah. Make more for future generations. All right, let them go. There he goes. <laughs> man, let's go do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, get your rod in the water, yeah. man. Yeah, it's time, eh? Coming to Terrace is always a huge thrill for me. The scenery alone is worth the trip. A lot of times I, I catch myself just standing in the river and, and just staring at the beautiful surroundings. And sometimes I find that words really can't do justice to what you're experiencing. And to top off of the scenery, was the fishing, which was essentially icing on the cake. We just timed it absolutely perfect, and there's nothing else to it. I mean, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get to have another couple days like that in my life. I hope I do, but my arms are actually sore from the amount of fish we caught. Gil and Luke from West Coast Fishing Adventures, super passionate about their trade and, and getting their clients into fish, and this truly is a special place, and one that I really look forward to coming up and experiencing every time we come up here.